Right now we're seeing though the day, the rider of the day, and the rider of last weekend as well. Listen to the crowd. Yeah, absolutely loving this. They recognize a great champion, and this is still a great champion in the making, despite his illustrious wins already in his career on both cross and road. Timo Nace, we've come to expect this kind of performance from, even despite the fact that he is, and I'm going to say it out loud, 21 years of age. He's 21. He's racing against guys who, who are 27, 28, into their early 30s as well, at the very highest level of the sport. And yet, he is, on a day like this, uh, almost, but not quite, almost untouchable but he's dealt with it well and he's continued on here he's looking down but it doesn't seem to be any massive problems just a bit of maybe his uh, his pant leg there being pulled up <laughs> yeah. straightening out his uh, he's straightening out his european stripes jp of course he is of course he is why not he's, gonna, he's getting himself ready for the photo i think that's what he's doing anyway he's very close to the finishing straight he does the same with the other one i think he i think, I think he just wants to make sure everything looks good for the photo and it will look good it will look good. He rides with the number one on his back, Thibaut Nace. He's the European champion. He clears his nose, as you might as well, does up the jersey. It's been a dominant performance. One week on from winning the European title, Thibaut Nace is the winner at the X2O Bad Camas Trophy. Round two in Lockera. And what a performance by the double denim boys, doubling up in double denim in second and third. Van der Poeter, series leader, comes across in fourth. Lars van der Haar blows his cheeks out. He's had a day on the bike today, that's for sure. For the overall, though, van der Haar, super, super strong. He's done a really good job to keep this rider, Ely Easterbit, at bay. He's got the lead from having won in the Koppenberg. So it's, uh, you could have thought, okay, he could have lost that today. But no, Easterbit still doesn't take any time back on Lars van der Haar. In fact, by my quick calculations, van der Haar continues to gain time over Ely Easterbit. I think you're right, JP. Good day out for him. Morris Wake in the end sixth, Devon Kuiper seventh, Twin Arts I think in eighth there by the looks of it as well. And uh, it should be, there we go, Anton Ferdinand riding as an individual elite rider with shifting gears, very smart looking like, I like that skin suit, that's neat. Ferdinand with a good ride there in ninth place ahead of Victor van der Buter of the Des Hatch team in tenth. Jens Adams coming through for 11th at the moment. Where's Michael Van Turenhout gone? Van Turenhout was there around about top 10. Jens Adams with another. He seems to be 10th in almost every UCI race he does this year, Jens Adams. Here's Michael Van Turenhout. He'll be in 11th or maybe 12th. He's got Turn van der Bosch coming up behind him. So not a great day for Michael Van Turenhout. By his high standards, JP. Yeah. It was weird. He had a great middle part of the race. He come back to the front group, and then it kind of all exploded there. When Easterbit had his problems and the whole thing, it just kind of went. It just went a little bit like didn't go exactly how they 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 thought it was going to. But it was going, it was going really good for Michael Van Torn out. And I thought, wow, he's going to come back to the front and maybe even buy for this one. He was so good. He rode that really really fast lap, but then never duplicated it.